Towards the end of the live stream yesterday, Stephen Sharif casually dropped a major announcement in regards to Ashes of Creation, and if you weren't really paying attention or didn't stick it through the whole thing past the Cyclops fight, well then you probably missed it, like I did the first time around, as I was too busy making a video. But, Stephen announced that in the next few months, the cosmetic pre-order packages will be discontinued, so you will no longer be able to gain alpha or beta access. I will give um, a brief kind of uh, statement that in the near future, over the coming, I would say, few months, we will be discontinuing our uh, pre-order packages. Um, we'll be making that announcement when it happens, uh, but the number of participants that we have for Alpha 2 as it stands currently. Uh, is significant and until we are certain that we want to host additional players um, at some point in the next three months I would say probably uh, we will we will be discontinuing those packages and we'll have updates if we want to offer different packages at some point in the future after the Alpha 2 testing uh, succeeds so um, look forward to that announcement we'll give you ample time ahead of time so that if there are individuals who still want to participate uh, they'll have an opportunity to do so but I did want to give that heads up this is something that I was not really expecting as these pre-order packages have been around pretty much since the beginning, allowing players to get the outfits that NPCs will be wearing in the game if they choose along with giving them testing access. And the fact that they are no longer doing this is massive. I figured we would at least get them until Alpha 2 as this testing phase is going to bring a whole bunch of new players into the game with new people jumping in as us content creators make content throughout and that is the perfect chance for people to buy in and for Intrepid to make a lot of money. But alas, there is much more important things than money in the eyes of Intrepid as they already have over 100,000 Alpha 2 testers who bought a package and who knows how many Beta 1 and Beta 2 packages that were sold at a lower price, which for a testing phase is already a ton of people. And the majority, I'm sure, probably bought in for the wrong reasons to play the game and are going to be very disappointed when it's an unfinished buggy mess whose character gets reset every other week. But that's what an Alpha is, so if you bought in expecting to play the full game, well, you're not gonna. This this seems to be something that was very much in response to player feedback as well as player numbers. As Margaret mentioned it a few times in the stream, there has been a lot of discomfort when it comes to these bundles. Some people calling it a scam and other people just not understanding why someone would sell concept art for a game that is not yet out. Even if we have been seeing more and more of these bundles come to life every month. So it's a good thing that Intrepid is actually acknowledging for us players and know the concern a lot of people have. This isn't the end of cosmetics though, as Intrepid has stated, although the bundles as we know them will be going away, there will potentially be a rotation of less exclusive cosmetics for players to get their hands on if they want, but they won't be coming with any alpha or beta keys. Also, if you're one of those people who kickstarted, this will not stop you from upgrading your backer package, as Intrepid is still allowing that for a bit longer. Does this mean Alpha 2 is getting close? Well, yes and no. We know that testing is starting up at the end of this year, and Intrepid did shut off all the Alpha 1 packages a year or so before before we got into Alpha 1, but actually opened them back up when Alpha 1 came around. So it's not saying much timeline wise, but just from how they've been talking about Alpha 1 in these streams lately and seem to be opening up more and more about testing timelines and spot testing and all that, Alpha 2 is definitely beginning to sneak up on us. And if you think there's only six months left until the end of the year, which is not that much time, so you could be playing Ashes sooner than you know it. But if you want to be able to jump into the world of Vera and play Alpha 2 and have not yet snagged a package, the next couple months is definitely the time to do it or you won't be able to anymore. I know a lot of you have been waiting for certain cosmetics to come out that you love to buy these packages as you put in my comments, but your selection is about to get real thin real fast. And if you don't buy one, then you may have to try your luck with any giveaways that Intrepid holds down the road. But they did say they'd make a thread about this on their website when the time is close and they've actually a date set in answering people's questions and going over what exactly you can expect. So you do have some time, but not as much as you may have once thought. If you made it this far into the video, well then I assume you are probably enjoying this content, maybe just a little bit, maybe not at all, maybe you're just bored. But either way, do me a huge favor, help the channel out, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up as we journey our way to Alpha 2, and let me know if you're excited to see these pre-order bundles go away in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.